Finally, I want to directly address, address potential legislation to criminalize mothers who use drugs during pre um, pregnancy. Criminalizing these mothers does not make babies any safer. It actually harms babies. It makes pregnant women with addiction avoid important prenatal care due to fear. Criminalization is not an effective deterrent to substance use. The research backing this up is so strong that every medical society with expertise in maternal child health explicitly recommends against it. This is even more important in our state. We are unique in that we do not have a children's hospital or any pediatric subspecialty care. Every baby that I need to transfer requires a flight out of state. This is cumbersome, dangerous, and costly. We try to keep babies home, but sometimes we can't. Then, neonatal ICU level care is being performed by rural hospital staff doing the best they can until a transport team arrives from a children's hospital. Clearly, we want to avoid having pregnant women who have had no prenatal care show up to the hospital in labor. When these high-risk deliveries occur, we do not know if the baby's premature, if it will be able to breathe on its own, or if it has a medical issue like a heart, stomach, or spine defect. We have a growing problem with methamphetamine use in Wyoming. I am seeing a large increase in women showing up to the hospital with no prenatal care who have been using methamphetamines. We know that criminalizing these pregnant women will not stop them from using drugs, but it will stop them from going to the doctor. We need our clinics and our hospitals to be safe places for these women so that babies can have the best chance at a healthy start. Any legislation that deters women from getting prenatal <laughs> care will hurt babies the most. And I will say, to also end on a positive note, when treatment works and women are able to keep their babies, it is one of the most um, powerful and rewarding clinical experiences that I've had in my somewhat short career so far. Um, and so I think as a state, the more that we can be supporting women to help their babies thrive is the best possible thing for babies in our state.